I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. My body and mind. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. My name is Marie, if you are new here, and in today's video, we are tackling my closet in my bedroom. We're also gonna be tidying up my bedroom before we pull everything out of the closet because I don't wanna overwhelm myself with pulling everything out of the closet into a messy bedroom. So this is what mine and my husband's shared closet looks like. We are going to rearrange it and make it way more functional than it is. My husband has his dresser over there in the corner and his clothes are in front of it. So you actually have to push his clothes over in order to open the drawers. And that's the way that he liked his dresser. But I talked him into moving it into the center and it ends up looking way better. And it's so much more functional. We're also going to take out this nine cube organizer and we're going to be adding a bookshelf in here. And later I'm going to run up to the Dollar Tree and grab some clear bins for organization. So let's go ahead and take everything out of this closet, clean my bedroom, declutter through my dresser. There's a lot of clothes I know that I want to get rid of. There's some shirts in my closet and all kind of clothes in my dresser that I just, I know that I want to get rid of. And I like to keep my clothes pretty minimal because my dresser drawers are really small. So if I have too much stuff, then for one, it's overwhelming to have so many pieces of clothes, which makes more laundry and really in reality, I don't need that many clothes. So I'm only going to be holding on to my favorites and things that I actually wear. And y'all, I do love to make my bed. It just makes me feel productive, ready for the day, but there are days that I do not make my bed. And a lot of times my throw pillows just stay over here beside my nightstand in the floor. So I wanted to minimize the amount of throw pillows I keep on my bed. So I decided to just choose two and I'm going to take these white fluffy ones and put those on my couch. Over here above my nightstand, the wall is cracking. I think it's a board that's actually broken in the wall and it's pushing through. So it's making a crack down the wall. If y'all see a crack, that's what it is. And I told my landlord, he came by and looked at it and he said that he thinks it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. There's not any moisture in the wall or anything. So I guess we're not going to do anything about it, but there is this huge crack right above my nightstand and it bothers me so bad. I don't know if it's like an OCD thing or what, but it bothers me so bad and I wish that I could just paint over it or just push it back in place, but there's literally nothing I can do about it. <laughs> And I was showing y'all my little heart candle because I used it so much. I burned it down. I'm going to take that wax out and just use it as a little heart dish. But I'm so sad my little heart candle is gone. It smelled so good. So we're going to go ahead and get mine and my husband's laundry started. And I have actually fallen off of our laundry schedule. I had a laundry routine going that worked for a while. And over time, I just stopped going by it with just busy life in general. So I really need to get back on track to that laundry schedule because it is crazy when all of the laundry is piled up. We're a family of six, so we have a lot of laundry. So I'm going to go ahead and organize my clothes into piles by the sizes that they are so that I can bag those up and give them away to friends and family. And I have a rule that I follow when it comes to our clothes. Anytime I buy my kids a new season of clothes or I buy myself a new season of clothes, I go through the clothes that we already have and I go ahead and declutter anything that I don't think I'm going to be wearing or the new clothes that I bought if they could replace anything to go ahead and declutter those. And I'm going to go ahead and tidy up my dressers because they were insane. Everything was just shoved in here. You couldn't find anything. So I'm actually going to do the roll method where you put the clothes in here and you roll them and you can actually see everything. Usually I stack my clothes up because it's just easier to put them in there like that, but that's ultimately how my dressers get so messy because I can't see anything so I'm digging for clothes in a hurry and then I just close the drawer back and it's messy. So I'm just standing all of my clothes up where I can see everything. They're kind of rolled and I like it this way so much better. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, ooh, feel like, ooh, ooh, feel 
so with the roll method with rolling the clothes I have found that I have been keeping my dresser organized a lot longer than when I just put everything in there flat sacked up so I think I'm going to continue to do the roll method but the top left drawer is my underwear the middle left drawer is my shorts and skirts and then the bottom left drawer is jogging pants and leggings and then on the right side the top is my bras the middle that I'm organizing now is my pajamas and the bottom is my jeans and where I keep my belt and you'll see that I only have a couple of pair of jeans let me know if y'all mostly wear leggings the kind of leggings that I mostly like to wear are the activewear leggings that I'm wearing right now and usually my jeans I love to wear jeggings but the regular jeans with the buttons I cannot wear those long y'all I only wear them sometimes occasionally so I don't have a ton of jeans I do like the way that they look they are super cute but they are just not it when it comes to comfort Decluttering my closet was a chore that I was dreading. I was not looking forward to coming here and do this, but I know that it needed to be done. I have not went through a closet since last year, and I do keep it pretty organized in here the best way I can, but as y'all could see from the before, it was a hot mess. There was just clothes and stuff everywhere, so I'm just going through my clothes. I'm throwing out any shirts that I don't really wear or I don't really love anymore, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of those since I did get myself some new clothes recently. We are going to take everything out of this closet. We're going to wipe down the baseboards and organize it, rearrange it. I'm so excited for the way that it turned out. And here I am just adding to my piles of clothes that I'm giving away based on the sizes they are. So this was a project that took me most of the day and I was so exhausted. Your girl had a heating pad and a hot bubble bath this night. It was much needed. I wanted to take out this nine cube organizer and replace it with a tall bookshelf. So I did end up getting a bookshelf. We're going to move in here in just a minute. My husband was building that while I was taking everything out of the closet. And this is my dossier collection that I had stored in here. If you guys don't know what dossier is, it is a luxury inspired fragrance brand and they sell higher end perfumes for a much cheaper price tag. I love my dossier collection and I have lots of favorite perfumes. The one that I've been wearing a lot lately is the Ambery Vanilla. It smells like an iced vanilla latte and I love that you get a high quality bottle with a magnetic snap on lid. You get a 50 milliliter bottle shipped straight to your door and if you don't like the perfume that you chose you are able to send it back for a full refund. The beige color is unisex, the red is women's, and the black is men's. My husband's favorite and my favorite for men is the Citrus Marine. It smells amazing for men. I love it so much and I want him to wear it every time we go out on a date night. But if you guys are interested in Dossier, I will have them linked down below in my description box. I do highly recommend them, especially if you're wearing a higher end perfume. Check Dossier to make sure that they don't have it for much cheaper. It will just be called something different. The Ambery Vanilla that I've been wearing is actually a retail price of $130 by YSL's Black Opium, but you can get it on Dossier for $29. And the Citrus Marine is inspired by Dulce and Gabbana's Light Blue for Men. The retail price is $80 and we get it on Dossier for $29. And if y'all wanted to start your Dossier collection, use my code MARIELOVE5. I 
ended up getting rid of several pair of my shoes to make room in the closet. I took my shoe bench by the front door. I had a white metal shoe bench that I switched out for a wooden shoe bench that I think looks so much better for our living room. And I took that white shoe bench and I'm going to use it back here in my bedroom. I do have a shoe bench in here, but it's overcrowded with mine and my husband's shoes all trying to fit on one shoe bench. So we're going to take that dresser and slide it over into the center and put a shoe bench on my husband's side of the closet and a shoe bench on my side of the closet so that we can have our own space for our own shoes. So this over the door hook, I actually got that from Amazon a while back. I have one on the back of my girl's bedroom door too, and they hang up their coats and purses. And I love those hooks. I can link them below if y'all are interested in them. But that little secret door in my closet is actually the hot water heater room. And we do have some extra totes of my husband's stored in there. He keeps just some of his stuff in there. So that gets it out of the way of our closet. We don't have very much storage in our outside building. We don't want to overcrowd it with things. I do keep my decorations in that building as well but it's mostly like my husband's building to go out there and work on RC cars and things like that so we don't want to pack it completely full of just stuff so anyways that little door is just a little hot water heater room and we also use it for storage there was so much dirt in here and you wouldn't even think that there would be that much dirt in here just looking at the closet but when you pull everything out it's crazy the amount of dirt that accumulates in here So now that I have the closet clean in a little bit, I'm going to pull that dresser out and clean behind it too, but I'm going to go ahead and go through all of my stuff and just organize it better. Some of the stuff I got rid of, some of it needed to go in the kids special sentimental totes they each have a tote where i keep all of their very special things in their pictures like school pictures anything like that in but a lot of this is just sentimental special stuff i needed to go store the nebulizer somewhere else this is just the breathing treatment machine we used to use it a lot and thankfully we have not had to use it in a while and i just had some nicks and knacks in here that i needed to take out and organize better but most of this is just my pictures and I do keep sentimental cards from my mom and my dad also and then cards that my kids make me. So just this is my sentimental box, I guess, for me. I do highly recommend getting a bag or some kind of organizer specifically for your special cards that your kids make you from your mom, from your dad, from special people in your life so that you can look back on those one day. And I just really love those cards that my mama makes me. She always puts her special little touch in them and makes them so sentimental. But this is the bookshelf that we built for my closet. We're going to go ahead and clean up this dresser and rearrange it and add the shoe benches. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw everything on the bookshelf and then run up to the Dollar General for some organizers so we can organize it. And the Dollar Tree only had about, I think, five of the clear organizers that I needed. And the other ones were like pink and blue. And I really just wanted clear. And I wanted to do clear so that I could see what was inside the organizers. I didn't want to do baskets so I can see what's in them without having to 
open everything or dig through the basket. Since it is a closet, it doesn't really matter if the organizers are clear, but they only have like five of them. So I'm going to go back another day and see if they have any more or if they've restocked it because I really, really love the clear organizers that I chose, but we're going to save that for a different day. The marks that are on the wall on the top shelf are from when we moved in. They just never patched and painted those and we just kind of moved in and threw our stuff in here and we never done anything with it either. So we just kind of keep it covered up anyways with storage organizers and boxes. So we never really seen the need to really fix it or anything. So anyways, that's why the walls like that. It's where there used to be like a metal rack in here and they replaced it with the wooden shelf, which I do like so much better than the metal rack. So I'm just throwing everything on the shelf because this is before I went to the Dollar Tree to get some organizers. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to use that little gray organizer in here, but I don't, I don't think I need it. I ended up not using it in here. So we're going to take that out here in just a minute, but we are about to take a quick little break. I'm going to go cook some dinner and run up to the Dollar Tree and I'll be back to organize the shelf a lot better than it's looking right now. One thing you will find me doing is keeping and reusing birthday bags and tissue paper if it's not ripped because what's the use of throwing it away if it is still perfectly fine? So I'm just using this organizer for birthday bags and tissue paper and I'm going to store that on the top of the closet for family birthdays or my kids birthdays. These are the organizers I ended up picking up at the Dollar Tree and I just took the sticker off of them and I'm going to go ahead and organize everything. I'm going to put cotton balls in one, cords in one. I'm going to have one for my husband. I'm going to have one for my nail stuff like my fingernail polish and all that which I did end up picking up. Some really pretty lavender nail polish that I'm excited to paint my toes with really soon. I picked that up from the Dollar Tree while I was there. But I'm going to go ahead and organize everything on this shelf. This one is for birthday stuff. So this is where I have lots of balloons and balloon tape. And this is my balloon pump. So I'm just going to store like things together. And then I have my hot glue gun, my hot glue sticks my needle and thread and then in this basket is where I kept all of my nail polish stuff and I'm just gonna move everything over here to this organizer and on the very very bottom shelf I end up putting an organizer that is too big for the shelf but it's just because I needed somewhere to store the last little bits and pieces of things that I had until I can go back to the Dollar Tree and get some more of these organizers but they were only three dollars a piece and I love the size of them and how they have lids and they are stackable.
Rogue. For the most part, we kept the closet the same with the left side being my husband's, the right side being my side, and the door to the hot water heater where I have our over-the-door hook is where we keep all of our hats and my purses and our bags and all of that mixed together, and this bookshelf is kind of shared also. Mine and my husband's stuff is on that, and then we keep all of our board games in here, but I love the way that the closet turned out. It turned out so organized and it's not going to be super aesthetic because this is just a closet and my closets in my house just look like closets, y'all. We can walk in here. It's organized. We each have our own side of the closet. His dresser fits nicely in here. He can access his clothes so much easier. The laundry basket fits in here. I just love it so much. The last thing I need to do is just get some more of those clear organizers for this bookshelf. And also I hung up my bags over here. I have this little bag that I got from the Target Dollar Spot several years ago and I keep just grocery bags in it for my bathroom trash can. But I love the way that my closet turned out. We are going to head into my bedroom and finish cleaning up in there and everything that I decluttered, I'm going to take that out into the living room and go ahead and try to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I do have some friends and family in mind for the clothes. But I'm also going to go ahead and start some of my lavender oil in this little mini diffuser. I found this little diffuser at Bell's and it's just a little small one, but it's the perfect size for my desk. But I'm going to go ahead and clean off my desk. I was putting some stuff over here that needed to go elsewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything away and I'm going to minimalize my desk a little bit the way it's just so much clutter over top with my dry erase board and my bulletin board. I want to take those down because I honestly don't use them that much. I do use my calendar every month, but these other two ones, I don't use them that much. So I'm going to move my calendar over to the other side and then add a piece of decoration that I actually had in my boys room over here over top of my computer and then I'm going to vacuum up the floor and I love the way that my closet turned out it feels so good to have a fresh clean closet a fresh clean room thank y'all so much for watching I hope y'all found today's video very motivational give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you are new and I will see y'all in my next one